الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمد ونستعين ونستغفر ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان سيدنا ونبينا وحبيبنا وشفيعنا ومطاعنا محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فقد قال الله تعالى في القران المجيد والفرقان الحميد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ஜன்னோ <تصفيق> نحن أولياءكم في الحياة الدنيا وفي الآخرة ولكم فيها ما تشتهي أنفسكم ولكم فيها ما تدعون نزولا من غفور الرحيم صدق الله العظيم وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم ألا وإن الدنيا عرض حاضر يأكل منه البر والفاجر ألا وإن الآخرة أجل صادق يقضي فيها ملك عادل قادر يحق الحق ويبدل الباطل ألا وإن الخير كله بحذافيره في الجنة ألا وإن الشر كله بحذافيره في النار ألا فعملوا وأنتم من الله على حذر واعلموا أنكم معروضون على أعمالكم فمن يعمل مثقال ذره خيرا يره ومن يعمل مثقال ذره شرا يره او كما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم respected ulama ikram elders beloved brothers in islam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this world a place of constantly changing situations conditions circumstances الحمد لله الذي خلق السماوات والارض وجعل الظلمات والنور somewhere there is light somewhere there is dark somewhere rain waters are plentiful somewhere there is drought somewhere the flag of victory is being planted somewhere the bitter taste of defeat is being experienced somewhere people are celebrating nikah is taking place somewhere people are lamenting exhibiting their sorrow janaza is being lifted up constantly varying situations conditions circumstances and all these conditions under the direct muhkam taqdeer of one allah kull yawm huwa fi shan every moment allah exhibits his shan allah exhibits his qudrat mudabbir the arranger decreer fashioner coordinator originator of every situation condition circumstance in the heavens and the earth without question from anyone لا يسأل عما يفعل وهم يسألون no one questions the authority of Allah Allah decrees heavens and the earth whatever happens any situation any circumstance any condition the originator or coordinator of that is one Allah alone mudabbir bila mu'in mudabbir bila mushir mudabbir bila wazir mudabbir bila badil mudabbir bila adil mudabbir bila shabi allah is the arranger there is no partner with allah there is no minister with allah there is no advisor with allah there is no similitude with allah there is no assistant with allah laysa ma'ahu hu ilahu yukhsha wala rabb yurja wala hajib yursha wala wazir yurta there is no other ilah that has to be feared there is no other rabb upon whom there can be hope there is no advisor with allah there is no door keeper you have to pay a bribe to reach unto allah yudabbirul amra min as-sama'i ila al-ard from the heavens to the earth the arranger decree a fashion a coordinator originator of every situation condition and circumstance is one allah alone 
وهو الذي في السماء اله وفي الارض اله he is the ilah of the heavens he is the ilah of this earth everything everything that exists is owned by allah lahu ma fi as-samawati wa ma fi al-ard wa ma baynahuma wa ma tahta as-thara ala inna lillahi ma fi as-samawati wa ma fi al-ard ala inna lillahi man fi as-samawati wa man fi al-ard everything in the heavens everything in the earth everything between the heavens and the earth everything beneath the earth belongs to allah it is mamluk it is owned malik is only allah Malik is only Allah. This is a travesty. This is a travesty of justice. This is an irony that human beings feel that they own something. This human being does not own anything. If you own something, then why do you leave it behind? Why do you fear the loss of it? Only owner is Allah. The only distributor is Allah. Allah has given what He wants to give. Allah takes what He wants to take, and no one questions the authority of Allah. Allah's Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam amongst the du'as that were ma'thur, mankul from Rasul al-Faq sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at the time of tahajjud we find this expression where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would say ma sha allahu kaan wa ma lam yasha lam yakun a'lamu anna allaha ala kulli shayin qadeer wa anna allaha qad ahata bi kulli shayin ilma that happens which Allah wants, not which any group of individuals or governments or ideology wants. That happens in this world which Allah wants. يَفْعَلُ اللَّهُ مَا يَشَاء Allah does as He wants to do. يَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاء Allah guides whom He wants to guide. يُضِلُّ مَنْ يَشَاء Allah deprives of guidance whom He wants. يَفْسُطُ الرِّزْقَ لِمَنْ يَشَاء Wealth, affluence, status, Prominence in the hands of Allah. We yaqdir want poverty, need in the hands of Allah. To izzum and tasha, respect, dignity, honor, status, nobility, recognition in the hands of Allah. To dhillum and tasha, disgrace, downtroddenness, humiliation, ignominy, falling from grace in the hands of Allah. Yu ayyudu bi nasrihi may yasha, Allah helps whom he wants. يَخْتَصُّ بِرَحْمَتِهِ مَنْ يَشَعَ The Rahmat and Mercy of Allah for whom Allah wants. لِلَّهِ مُلْكُ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ The dominion of the heavens and the earth belongs to Allah. يَخْلُقُ مَا يَشَعَ Allah creates what He wants. يَهَبُ لِمَنْ يَشَعُ إِنَاثًا وَيَهَبُ لِمَنْ يَشَعُ الذُّكُورِ أو يُزَوِّجُهُمْ ذُكْرَانَ وَإِنَاثًا وَيَجْعَلُ مَنْ يَشَعُ عَقِيمًا إِنَّهُ عَلِيمٌ قَدِيرٌ They want female children, male children are coming. They want male children, female children are coming. They don't want children, children are coming. They want children, this fertility expert, that fertility expert, no children are coming. Allah gives males to whom He wants, females to whom He wants, pairs to whom He wants, deprives and makes barren who he, he, whom He wants. إِنَّهُ عَلِيمٌ قَدِيرٌ He has complete knowledge, complete kudrat, complete decision. Hakim, Hakim, Samad, His Samadiyat, His Jabariyat, His Hukumiyat is Muhit. It encompasses every facet of His creation. And no one can question Allah. No one can question Allah. مَا شَاءَ اللَّهُ كَانْ كَمَا شَاءَ كَانْ فِي الْوَقْتِ الذي شاء على الوجه الذي شاء من غير زيادة ولا نقصان ولا تقدم ولا تأخر وما لم يشاء لم يكن that happens which Allah wants in the manner Allah wants in the time Allah wants not before Allah wants not after Allah wants not more than that which Allah wants not less than that which Allah wants and that which Allah doesn't want all the governments all the forces all the armies all the technologies of this world لو اجتمع عليه الثقلان <coughs> My Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when it came to the distribution of risk and sustenance of this insan, what did my Nabi say? Katab Allahu, makal maqadir al khalayq, qabla an yakhluk al samawati wal ard, bi khamsina al fasana. Understand this expression. Appreciate the veracity of this expression. What is Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying? In this, in this is the denial of the effect of the entire economical system of the entire world. 
What does Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say? It is not your job, it is not your intelligence, it is not your degree, it is not your know-how, it is not a biological accident which home you were born, it is not your lineage, it is the decree of my Allah. My Allah has written down, my Allah has ordained, my Allah has decided what you will be worth, when you will be worth, to what extent you will be worth, not now, 50,000 years before the creation of the heavens and the earth. Allah has already decided and Rufiat al-Aqlam wa Jaffat al-Suhaf the pens have been lifted, the pages are dry no one will interfere with the decision of Allah no one can overturn the decision of Allah لا مانيا لما عطي ولا معطيا لما منعت ولا رادا لما قضي that no one can give that which Allah wants to withhold no one can give that which Allah wants to give, no one can withhold. La rada lima qadai. No one can overturn the decision of Allah. Allah has decided. Work 12 hours, work 14 hours, work 20 hours, work 24 hours. Find 26 hours in a 24 hour day. Do whatever you want to do. By the qasam of my Allah, my Nabi has told us, informed us, seven heavens, seven earths can come to an end. Not one word of lie. Pass to his Mubarak lips. Allah has decided what you will be worth. 50,000 years before the creation of the heavens and the earth وَلَا وِجْتَمَ عَلَيْهِ الثَّقَلَانِ He said وَإِنَّ الْعَبْدَ لَهُ رِسْكُهُ My Allah, my Allah has decided for you your risk My Allah has decided for you your sustenance It is His distribution It is His distribution It is His decree it is his decree. No one questions the authority of Allah. وَإِنَّ الْعَبْدَ لَهُ رِزْقُهُ Each one of you, Allah has decided his risk and his sustenance. And then what does my Nabi say? What does my Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say? He says, وَلَوِ اجْتَمَ عَلَيْهِ الثَّقَلَانِ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَصُدُّ عَنْهُ شَيْئًا مِّنْ ذَلِكَ مَسْتَطَعُهُ He says, if the entire humankind and jinn kind get together, pull their resources to stop that one penny or one pound reaching you which Allah had decided 50,000 years before the creation of the heavens and the earth mastatau, they will not be able to stop it Allama Suyuti rahimahullah what does he explain this iman on the distribution of Allah he says if the ground had to become copper or lead so that not one blade of grass has to grow the sky had to become lead so that not one droplet of rain water had to fall and for one second for one second for one second I doubted where will my risk and my sustenance come from by the qasam of my Allah I am a kafir and a mushrik Allah has decided it is his decree it is his amr ala lahul khalq wal amr ala lahul khalq wal amr listen how Quran calls out ala haken put up your ears pay attention understand lahul khalq creation belongs to Allah wal amr amr and decree belongs to Allah it is his decree it is his decision no one questions the authority of Allah this Sabak of Iman, every Nabi of Allah, from Adam alayhi salam to Janab Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this was the first fundamental basic talim of every Nabi of Allah. This is where ilm starts, this is where knowledge starts, this is a fallacy, this is a misnomer, this is a misdirection by the, by the batil institutes of this world, this machinery, propaganda machinery of battle, 24 hours a day is espousing this incorrect invocation or incorrect dawa or incorrect call that education is what is being handed out by the so-called educational institutions of this world. Degrees are education, degrees are advancement. No, my respected brothers, what is ilm, what is knowledge, that which connects you to Allah is ilm. That which introduces the greatness of Allah is knowledge. Knowledge starts, starts with the recognition of who is Allah. What do we have? What do we have at our disposal to describe Allah? We find expressions in the books of Aqeedah. Qadimun bila ibtida, daimun bila intiha. Allah was forever. Allah was forever, Allah will be forever. Awal, awal, laysa qablahu shay. Akhir, laysa ba'dahu shay. Allah, look at the Quran, look at the Quran in which Allah, 
Look at the manner in which Allah introduces Himself. Sabbaha lillahi ma fi samawati wal ard wa huwa al aziz al hakim lahu mulk al samawati wal ard yuhyi wa yumit wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir huwa al awwalu wal akhiru wal zahiru wal batin wa huwa bi kulli shay'in alim هو الذي خلق السماوات والأرض في ستة أيام ثم استوى على العرش يعلم ما يلج في الأرض وما يخرج منها وما ينزل من السماء وما يعرج فيها وهو معكم أينما كنتم والله بما تعملون بصير We cannot possibly lament the lack of مناسبة and تعلق of this ummah with Quran our elders are telling us Quran ek na ashna pehram ban chuke. Quran has become an irrelevant message to us. Open up a new shop or business, read a little bit Quran. Somebody gets jinn or jadu asar, we read a little bit Quran. Ramadan Sharif, to some extent, Quran is read. But what is the day of the Quran? What is the night of the Quran? What is the pukar of the Quran? What is the call of the Quran? That concern, that consideration, that worry has come out of the ummah of Rasulullah. And Allah Ta'ala tells us in the Quran that on the day of judgment, Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu will complain to Allah, وَقَالَ الرَّسُولُ يَا رَبِّ إِنَّ قَوْمِ اتَّخَذُوا هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ مَهْجُورًا He will say, Oh my Rabb, Oh my Allah, my Ummah turned their backs on this Quran. Such a Quran this Ummah was given that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, مَنْ جَعَلَهُ أَمَامَهُ سَاقَهُ إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ مَنْ جَعَلَهُ خَلْفَهُ سَاقَهُ إِلَى النَّارِ He said, if my Ummah will put this Quran in front of them, this Quran will take them to Jannah. And if they will turn their backs on this Quran, the same Quran will take them to Jahannam. This is that Kalam. This is that Amanat. What does Allah Ta'ala say? لَوْ أَنزَلْنَا هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ عَلَىٰ جَبَلْ لَرَأَيْتَهُ خَاشِعًا مُتَصَدِّعًا مِّنْ خَشْيَةِ اللَّهِ If this Qur'an had to be revealed on a mountain, the mountain would be rent asunder to the fear of Allah. Usman رضي الله تعالى عنه In the Haram of Mecca, behind this Tahajjud Salah, when Tabi says, I stood behind him. Usman started with Surah Fatiha. He says, by the qasam of Allah, he did not go into ruku until he reached Surah Nas. The entire Qur'an in one rakat of Tahajjud Salah. Huzaifa radiallahu anhu says, Allah's Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was reading Tahajjud Salah. I went behind him, I said, Allahu Akbar, faftataha al-Baqara. My Nabi started reading Surah Baqara. He says, I thought in my heart, yarkaw in the al-miyah. After hundred verses, he'll go into ruku. Thumma madha. He says, hundred verses passed. Then he says, I thought in my heart, yusalli bi hafi rakatin. He'll read half in this rakat, half in the next rakat. Thumma madha. Halfway pa- point passed. Then he says, I thought in my heart, yarkaw biha. Allah's Rasul Salaam would make ruku at the end of Surah Baqarah. Thumma madha. Surah Baqarah got finished. فَفْتَتَحَ النِّسَاء ثُمَّ فْتَتَحَ عَلَى إِمْرَانِ What is the reality of this? One-fifth, one-fifth of the entire Qur'an in one rakat. And not reading like you and I. Ramadan Sharif is coming. But they say that masjid gets full with his Ya'lamun, Ta'lamun, Hafiz. You can't make out anything that they're reading. Just make out the end of the verse, Ya'lamun or Ta'lamun. I remember a few years ago we were in one town, it was Ramzan Sharif, we were going for one program, we couldn't pass the street, cars were jam-packed. I asked the brother, why, what's going on? There's some special program, he says, no, Malisa, in this masjid they read 10 surahs in Tarawih, last 10 surahs. Shortcut this ummah is looking for. The shagaf attachment, love with Quran is not there. In fact, a halat of the ummah is such, a person doesn't even know how to make his tinja properly. But Ramzan time, he becomes a mufti. He becomes a mufti, then Umar the Allah also. We're not here to get into fiqhi ikhtilaf. That leads to the ulama ikram. But to explain this point, I remember once we were going to one masjid, Ramadan time, outside they had two arrows. One arrow pointing this side, parking for eight rakats tarawi, and this side parking for twenty rakats tarawi. 
Leave the fiqh ikhtilaf in its place. Where is the shawf? Where is the attachment? Where is the love for Quran? Allah Rasulullah said that for each sajda, for each sajda of taraweeh salah, for each sajda, Allah will give 1500 hasanah. 40, 20 rakats, 40 sajda every night, 60,000 hasanah. But what we are doing, looking for shortcut. Imagine if the announcement had to be made, Blackburn, Merkaz, first of Ramadan, whoever comes for Taraweeh Salah, after Taraweeh, under the Musalla will be 1500 pounds. Nana, Nani, Dada, Dadi, the old, infirm, senile, them also will bring to the Masjid, there won't be any space, parking lot also will be full. Why we've understood the value of Mal, we haven't understood the value of Amal. Osman Hussein says, he, he says, how was Rasulullah Sallallahu reading? One fifth of the Quran in one rakat. Yet how was he reading? Yaqra'u mutarassilan. Ida marra bi ayatin fiya tasbihun sabbaha. Wa ida marra bi ta'awwadin ta'awwada. Wa ida marra bi su'alin sa'ala. He said, if my Nabi passed an ayat in which Allah was praised, he praised Allah. If he passed an ayat of Jahannam, he sought protection from Jahannam. If he passed an ayat of Jannah, he made dua for Jannah. Like that, mutarassilan. One fifth of the Quran in one rakat of tahajjud salah. Allahu Akbar. Then he says, Nabi Islam went into ruku' and he started reading Subhana Rabbi al Azim. He says, Fakana ruku'uhu nahwam min qiyamihi. He says, The length of his ruku' was the same as the length of his qiyam. Then he said, Sami Allahu liman hamida, Rabbana walaka alham. And he says he stood in coma for as long as it took to make ruku. And then he went into sajda and the sajda was the length of the coma. That type of salah, that type of salah is impossible, 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 unless Allah has given one the lazzat and ecstasy of standing before Allah. Usman radiallahu ta'ala used to say, لَوْ تَهُرَتْ قُلُوبُكُمْ لَوْ تَهُرَتْ قُلُوبُكُمْ مَا شَبِعْتُمْ مِنْ كَلَامِ اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ He would say, if your hearts were pure, if your hearts were pure, you would never get tired of listening to Qur'an. The lack of munasabat and attachment with Qur'an is an indication of the impurity of this heart. That Allah's azmat, Allah's greatness, Allah's kibyai, Allah, what does Qur'an tell us? إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Who are the mu'mineen? This innama Ask the ulama ikiram is kalima i hasar Innama only Sirf or sirf Innama Sirf or sirf Only and only Who are the mu'mineen? Alladheena Iza dhukir Allahu wajilat kulubuhum When Allah's name is taken Their heart tremors The name of Allah causes the cords of the heart to reverberate There is no other there is no music of this world. There is no incantation of the world. Wallah! That can cause the chords of the heart to reverberate like the taking of the name of Allah. Like the reciting of Quran. Allah is why is this human being like that? This heart is calling out for Allah. This heart is searching for Allah. Rasulullah said, Kullu mawludin yuladu ala al-fitra. كُلُّ مَوْلُودٍ يُولَدُ عَلَى الْفِطْرَةِ Naturally, intrinsically, Allah has placed in the psyche of this human being. Every child from the time of its birth, its heart will search for Allah. The ruh of this insan will call out for Allah, will search for Allah, will search for the Mubarak way of life of Rasulullah wasallam. Humanity is searching, looking. There is a fire, there is a fire that is burning inside. There is a restlessness that is inside. Wallah, there is nothing that will appease this restlessness behind, besides this heart being connected with Allah. Nothing else will appease this restlessness. We are trying to put out this fire. We are trying to appease this restlessness with what? With the haram music of this world. With the zina of this world. With the dens of haram of this world, with the five star holidays of this world, with the scenery and attraction of this world, 
with the haram activities of this world. Like someone put it beautifully, he says, So bar chaman mehka, so bar bahar aai, dunya ki wahi ronak, dil ki wahi tanhai. They have built bathrooms and aeroplanes also. Trying to create ease, trying to create comfort, trying to put out this fire that is raging in the heart of insan. But what we don't understand, my respected brothers, is that this fire is linked to the ruh and the soul of this insan. And this ruh and the soul doesn't know women. It doesn't know zina. It doesn't know music. It doesn't know the haram things of this world. This ruh and the soul only knows Allah. Only in being linked with Allah, only in connecting with Allah will this ruh ever find peace. You will not find it in the harm activities of this world. If, if this ruh could, could be appeased, if this fire could be put out. I remember one of our elders gave Kar a few years ago when Jamaat was in America. A few youngsters, they came to accept Islam. There was a doctor in that Jamaat, Pakistani doctor. He gives the Kar he says, when I read the Shahadat, this youngster said, Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah. The moment he said, illallah, he caught all of his chest. It was a doctor, so he got worried, alarmed. He said, that, what happened? Did you get a heart attack? He says, from the time understanding came to me, from that time there was a blackness, there was a hole, there was an emptiness in this part of my body. Today when I said, illallah, it filled up. I felt the light of it entering into my heart. Why this heart is searching for Allah? The tragedy that is facing humanity today is that those that were given this recognition, those that were given this recognition of Allah, instead of guiding humanity, we have become the followers. We are running behind them. We have made them our imams. Those who are more misguided than us, we have made them our imams. Suicide rate is soaring. Intoxicant rate is soaring. Drug abuse is soaring. What is behind this? Behind this is this inner restlessness that has caught hold of the hearts of humanity. This heart is searching out, crying out for Allah. I remember one Jamaat, they met one in America, they met one child psychologist. So the Amir Jamaat was surprised. He said, Child, <laughs> he said, Children need psychiatric treatment. Children need psychiatric treatment. That doctor, the psychiatrist said, Molisab, if you phone my surgery, the next available appointment is three years' time. Whether it's the first world countries, whether it's the third world countries, this entire humanity has become a living embodiment of the description of Qur'an where Allah says O ka dhulumat fi bahri al-lujji yaghshahu mawj min fawqihi mawj min fawqihi sahab dhulumat ba'duha fawqa ba'd idha akhraja yadahu lam yakad yaraha wa man lam yaj'al illahu lahu noora fama lahu min noor Quran describes darkness of the night, darkness of a raging storm, darkness of the clouds overlapping one another, darkness of the rising waves of the ocean overlapping one another, darkness upon darkness upon darkness, such darkness, إِذَا أَخْرَجَ يَدَهُ لَمْ يَكَدْ يَرَاهَا that if one has to put his hand in front of his face, he will not see his fingers. And then what does Allah say? وَمَنْ لَمْ يَجْعَلِ اللَّهُ لَهُ نُورًا فَمَا لَهُ مِنْ نُورًا If Allah doesn't give them noor, if Allah doesn't give them light, if Allah doesn't give them guidance, where is the guidance going to come from? 
موسیقی We are the youngsters of this ummah today. What are the activities that have overtaken us? Hours and hours in front of that shaitan box. Hours and hours in front of instruments of zina. Hours and hours in front of technological gadgets. Wailing away the time. Passing away the time. What are you doing? What are you doing? What we say, we're passing the time. As if time has no value. Looking at what? Some people reading from some script. And what happens? You'll see the young girl. Or see the young mother. Somebody dies on that screen. They start crying. Depressed. Actor died or actress died. Next week the same actor or actress is acting in another film. And they're crying. Literally crying. An ummah that has no purpose in its life. This is what Quran is telling us. Why don't you look at those people who have made their passions and their desires their God? Despite knowledge Allah has deviated them. Allah has placed a seal over their hearts, over their minds. Now who is going to guide them? 22 people chasing behind a piece of pig skin. Youngster is depressed. Why my team lost? When such a condition has overtaken the ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the little little babies of this ummah are crying, hungry on the breast of their mothers. Those tears are drying out and still there is no food for them to eat. When this ummah in hundreds and thousands have become homeless, flagrant extravagant wedding ceremonies flagrant extravagant waste of time in frivolous activities where is the dard and pain and compassion for humanity where is the worry for insaniyat where is the empathy for one's fellow human being that Sayyidina Umar bin Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu when there was drought in Medina Munawara he took an oath that as long as there is meat in every home of Medina Umar would not eat one morsel of meat he said, if a dog dies hungry on the banks of the river Dajala, Umar will be held accountable in the court of Allah. Where is that empathy with humanity? Where is that concern for your fellow human being? This is not an ordinary Ummah. This is the Ummah of the Quran. This is the Ummah of Muhammad. Of Quran. Quran is not some book of rules. Quran is a legacy of love and muhabbat. Ali radiallahu used to say, whenever, whenever, whenever I wanted to talk to Allah, I would read two rakat salah. And whenever I wanted my Allah to talk to me, I would read Quran. Such a gift the summat was given. Such a Quran the summat was given. Sabbaha lillahi ma fis samawati wal What is Allah telling us? Everything in the heavens, everything in the earth is in the praise of Allah. وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ Allah is the mighty, Allah is wise. لَهُ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ To Allah belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. يُحْيِ وَيُمِيدُ Life in Allah's hand, death in Allah's hand. وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ Allah has power over everything. هُوَ الْأَوَّلُ وَالْآخِرُ وَالْظَاهِرُ وَالْبَاطِنُ Allah is the first. Allah is the last, Allah is apparent, Allah is omnipresent, Allah is concealed. And Allah has knowledge of everything. This expression, Allah's Rasul in the form of a dua, he makes tafsir of this. He says, Allahumma anta al-awwal falaysa qablaka shay wa anta al-akhir falaysa ba'daka shay wa anta al-zahir falaysa fawqaka shay wa anta al-batin falaysa dunaka shay. He says, Oh my Allah, you are the first before you there is nothing. 
You are the last. After you there is nothing. You are apparent. Above you there is nothing. You are concealed. Concealed from you there is nothing. Like I mentioned earlier, what do we have at our disposal to describe Allah? We have words, expressions we find in the books of Aqeedah. Tadimun bila ibtida, daimun bila intiha. Allah was forever, Allah will be forever. Wallah, by the qasam of my Allah, these words do not do justice to describing Allah. The whole life of this human being, the whole life of this human being is to recognize Allah. If the reality of Quran had to open upon us, Wallah, my respected brothers, if the reality of Allah's pehchan, Allah's marifat had to open upon us, Wallah, this world will not even appear to be a wing of a mosquito also. We have no other purpose but the recognition of Allah. What is this forever? Forever, what it means? Very, 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 very long period of time. How can forever ever describe Allah? Long period of time, Allah created time. Time is Allah's makhluk. Allah is free of shape. Allah is free of form. Allah is free of space. Allah is free of direction. Allah has created space. But Allah does not occupy space. Allah is there, but Allah does not occupy space. Allah created space, Allah created form, Allah created color, Allah created direction. Allah is a rub of this. Rabbul Mashriq wal Maghrib. Rabbul Mashriqain wa Rabbul Maghribain. Rabbul Mashariq wa Rabbul Maghrib. Rabbul Samawati Saba wa Rabbul Arshil Azim. East, West, North, South, Above, Below. Ainama tuwallu fatamma wajhullah. Turn in any direction and you will see the jalwa of Allah. Allah is free of the constraints of time, this tick, 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 tick of the clock. That which insan has taken for granted, like you mentioned earlier, frivolous activities, hours and hours. What am I doing? What are you doing by passing the time? Birthday, celebrating birthday. What are you celebrating? Inna lanafrahu bil ayyami naqta'uha Inna lanafrahu bil ayyami naqta'uha Wa kulla yawmin maza yudni min al-ajali Fa'amal li nafsika qabla al-mawti mujtahidan Fa inna ma al-ribhu wa al-khusranu fi al-amali Nujadid sururan bil hilali idha bada Wa ma hiya illa al-sayfu lil hatfi yantadhi Idha tamma al-aam Fa hiya kinayatun Wa tarjumatun an shatri umrin qad inqada How the poor puts it so beautifully He says you foolish insan You are celebrating the passage of time. Inna la nafrahu bil ayami naqta'uha. New year. Billions, billions of dollars wasted celebrating what? Birthday celebrating. The other day, a few years ago, I went to one relative. He says, I just came from a birthday party. I said, by whose birthday party? How old was the person? He says, 60 years of age. One wonders a 60 year old person, how are you going to fit 60 candles on the cake? And the respiratory system of a 60-year-old man, when he tries to blow the 60 candles out, whether he'll get blown out first or the candles will blow out first, that also is doubtful. But what is this insan doing? Celebrating. Fuzay bin Ayaz rahimullah came across a person 60 years of age. Kamata aliyya min umrik. My brother, how old are you? He says, I'm 60 years of age. He says, Munzu sittina sana. Tasiru ila rabbik yushiku an tasir. He says, oh my brother, you are on a train of life for the last 60 years. Don't you think the time for your destination has come near? Don't you think the time to meet Allah has come near? That hole, that hole in the ground. We have forgotten it. We have forgotten it. A few years ago I was in Yatikaf, late one night, one o'clock in the morning, one brother, a Pakistani brother came. He said, Molisa, I want to ask you one question. I said, by what? He says, you know, Molisa, when I was a young boy, I remember when we used to go to the Qabristan, when the janaza was going in the ground, for the next two or three weeks, if the light was put off at home too, we became afraid. We couldn't sleep at night. He said, tell me now, Molisa, what has happened? So I said, by what has happened? He says, now I see the janaza is going in the ground, the cell phone is ringing. Janaza is going in the ground, the musical tone is on. Janaza is going in the ground and the business deal is being done. 
اولم نعمركم ما يتذكر فيه من تذكر وجاكم النذير الله says did we not give you sufficient age on that day it will be said didn't we give you sufficient age to heed the warning وجاكم النذير our warnings came who are the warners muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and who are the warners everything around us is a warner a reminder this life is ephemeral this life is temporary do not be deceived by that rising sun do not be deceived by that rising sun it reaches the zenith lights up the whole world and then what happens every day every day every day that same sun is swallowed by the darkness of the horizon of the west to remind us insan this world is temporary ye wafa wafa hi tere saath nahi karenge this world will not do wafadari with you ye bewafa hai it will not be your friend it is a passing phase that youngster with his ray bands on with a gold necklace he stands in front of the mirror looking from this side looking from that side nowadays with all the different chemicals they take and hours in the gyms looks at the physique and looking from this side and that side as the day we passed i remember i saw allahu akbar i saw one place was in gents beauty parlor gents beauty parlor sahaba will turn over in the cover you can understand females nowadays gents beauty parlor that young girl she prints herself in front of the mirror the bloom of her cheeks were compared to the bloom of roses the twinkling of her eyes to the twinkling of stars she thinks she is the zuleikha of the time what plastic surgery are you going to use what botox treatment what chemicals what cosmetics are you going to use my respected brothers to delay the onset of the ravages of time that which quran says waman nu'mirhu nunakkisu fil khalq afala taqilun those who we took to an old age we bring a reverse we bring a reverse yuraddu ila arzal al umar likay la ya'lam min ba'd ilm shay'a allah says we bring in front of you examples people that were the brains of their time eventually we reduce them to make them vegetables and cabbages in front of you for you to understand that this world is a passing phase Do not be deceived. Don't be deceived by that rising sun. Don't be deceived by that physique of today. Few years will pass. Few years will pass. That same youngster won't want to look at the mirror also. That young girl will say, "Don't show me the mirror. It's not me. It's someone else." The every janaza that passes is a reminder. That hole in the ground, my Nabi says, we have forgotten it. It has not forgotten us. Every day it is calling out, Ana baytul dood, Ana baytul zulma, Ana baytul wahda, Ana baytul wahsha. I am the home of insects. I am the home of loneliness. I am the home of worms. I am the home of fear. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself before you have to come. What preparation are we doing? He is planning. Allah forgive us he's planning a 60 foot tall structure in his mind's eye and the decision has already been made in the heavens that before the sun set of today he is to go 6 feet beneath the ground is this not the reality of this life is this not the reality of this life the caterers the order has been given the caterers have been hired the lavish ceremony is planned little does he realize little does he realize little does he realize that the insects of the grave are already sharpening their teeth soon he is to become their food the tailors have been given the order the latest yugo boss suit is being prepared body fitting to his physique to perfection the latest style the latest fashion little does he realize the calico of his kafan has already entered the marketplace what guarantee ad dunya thalathatu ayyam ad dunya thalathatu ayyam yawmun mada yawmun mada wa yawm ghad falasta tadri anta mudrikuhu am la wa yawmun anta feehi faghtanimhu how beautifully the expression this world is three days only one day is already passed nothing you can do about it the other is tomorrow you don't know if you live to see tomorrow the third is this day value this day value this day this life is a passing phase the highest 
number of ahadith the greatest narrator of ahadith was abu huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu 5374 ahadith the second highest narrator of hadith was ummul mu'minin our mother aisha radiyallahu anha approximately 2200 ahadith she narrated Faqih Abu Layy Samarqandi Rahmatullahi mentions the riwayat that someone asked her that, O oh, mother of the believers, tell us, tell us, what was it that you heard my Nabi mentioning the most often at home? Imagine this, appreciate the veracity of this. The second highest narrator of hadith is asked this question, what expression did you hear Rasulullah repeating the most often? What did she respond? She said, لَوْ كَانَ لِإِبْنِ آدَمَ وَادِيًا مِّنْ ذَهَبْ أَحَبَّ أَنْ يَكُونَ لَهُ وَادِيًا وَلَيَّمْ لَا فَاهُ إِلَّا التُّرَابِ He said, such is the greed and such is the avarice of my ummah that if Ibn Adam had one valley of gold, he'll want the second one. If he had the second one, he'll want the third one. He'll keep shifting the goal post. He'll keep shifting the goal post. Keep moving the target further and further away. وَلَيَّمْ لَا فَاهُ إِلَّا التُّرَابِ Nothing if this Avarice, if this bimari, if the sickness of his greed is not addressed, nothing, nothing but the sand of the grave will satisfy his greed. Passing phase. وَجَاكُمُ nadir. Allah says, our warners came to you. The cautioners came to you. Someone saw Abu Darda radiallahu anhu. There was a janazah going. Someone asked him, the door Abu Darda, tell me whose janazah is that? Whose janazah is that? He says, bhai, that is your janazah. That is your janazah. And if you don't like what I am saying, take it as my janazah. Why? Because Allah says, إِنَّكَ مَيِّتٌ وَإِنَّهُمْ مَيِّتٌ There is only one reality, only one reality of this life, one goal, one object, my respected brothers, and that is the recognition of Allah. That from head to toe we have to hand ourselves over to Allah. Allah's pehchan, Allah's marifat, this is bakharun la sa'ila lahu. This is that ocean which has no limits whatsoever to it. La yahwihi makan, la yashtamilu alayhi zaman. Allah is free of the constraints of time. Past tense, present tense, future tense. This is for you and I. Hundred years from now, now and hundred, hundred years ago, now and hundred years from now, for Allah is equal. Allah is free of the stick, tick, 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 tick of the clock. ashab kahab those youngsters, they went in the cave, they went to sleep. When they woke up, وَكَذَلِكَ بَعَثْنَاهُمْ لِيَتَسَاءَلُوا بَيْنَهُمْ They started discussing amongst themselves, how long did we sleep? How long is it possible for a human being to sleep? 8 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, 14 hours, back will pain, head will pain, you'll get... Bones will start paining, you get hungry, you need to relieve yourself. So someone says, قَالَ قَائِلُ مِنْهُمْ كَمْ لَبِثْتُمْ قَالُوا لَبِثْنَا يَوْمًا أُبَعْدَ يَوْمًا Someone said, we slept for one day. Someone said, we slept for a portion of one day. What was the reality? وَلَبِثُوا فِي كَهْفِهِمْ ثَلَاثَ مِيَةٍ سِنِينَ وَزْدَادُوا تِسْعَى Quran tells us they slept for 309 years. What was astonishing? What was the sabak of iman that Quran teaches us? That youngster, that hypothetically went to sleep at the age of 15, wakes up 309 years later, his age is not 324, it's still 15. Why? Because outside the cave, the clock ticked. Inside the cave, Allah stopped time. Allah's qudrat encompasses everything. Time also is Allah's makhluk. Allah's greatness is such, لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ there is human being psyche is such that when we want to appreciate the greatness of something, what we do? We quantify it. We quantify it or we use our imaginative ability or we compare it. Like we hear expressions brighter than the sun, faster than the wind, more beautiful than the moon. When you want to, we think when you want to describe something that's fast, then we think we compare it to something that's faster or, or the speed of which is known. How are you going to appreciate Allah's greatness when there is no comparison with Allah? لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ 
البصير. What does Quran say? Compare Allah with anything, you will not be able to even compare Allah. لا يصفه الواصفون لا تغيره الحوادث لا تخالطه الذنون The imaginative ability of this insan Wallah can never imagine the greatness of Allah But we say the earth is small, Allah is big Sky is small, Allah is big Wallah, my respected brothers, ye bachyo wali yaqeen hai This is the yaqeen of a little child Allah is ahad, ahad Normally we translate this Ahad, we say Allah is one. Ulama explained this one is not the correct translation. It doesn't do justice because if there's one, there can be two or three or four. What is Ahad? Laysa kamithlihi shay. There is nothing that is like Allah. Quran gives inference to the explanation of this. Kullu kan al bahru midada li kalimati Rabbi lana fid al bahru qabla an tanfad kalimat Rabbi walau jina bimithlihi madada walau an ma fi al ard min shajara aqlam wal bahru yamudhu min baadi min baadihi sabadu abhur ma nafid kalimat Allah Allahu Akbar. What does Allah say? وَلَوْ أَنَّ مَا فِي الْأَرْضِ مِنْ شَجَرَ If all the trees on the surface of this earth have to become pens. This expression مَا فِي الْأَرْضِ doesn't mean the current vegetation of the earth. It means from the time the universe was created till Qiyamah whatever vegetation will grow. Scientists estimate the age of this universe to be 14 billion years. From that time till now, till Qiyamah, whatever trees have grown, Mafil Ar doesn't only mean the land. The land of this earth is only 29%, 71% is ocean. The vegetation of the ocean is more than the vegetation of the land. Atlantic Ocean by Philippines and the ocean goes 11 kilometers deep. 11 kilometers deep. We can take the whole mountain range, Himalaya mountain range, and put it in the ocean, the entire mountain will be submerged. Okay. Such a vast ocean Allah has made. And such makhluk Allah has kept. It is said sunlight. Sunlight penetrates 500 or 600 meters. Beyond that you cannot see. Submarine is made out of thousands and thousands of tons of steel. Yet a submarine more than 500 or 600 meters, if it goes any deeper, such is the pressure of the ocean that it will be crushed like an egg. Cannot go more than 500 or 600 meters. Yet 11 kilometers in the depths of the ocean, there are tiny, tiny fish. How is, are their bodies made in such a way to withstand the pressure of the ocean at that level? Pitch back darkness and such, such is the mazhara of the qudrat of my Allah that every 50 meters, every 50 meters from the bottom of the ocean moving upwards, the salinity and chemical composition of the water changes. So the different type of fish, different type of vegetation every 50 meters. These fish that are in that 50 meters when they reach the top, because the chemical composition of the water changes, they remain within their 50 meters. Different, different types of makhluk. We cannot imagine, we haven't understood who is Allah. Allah says if all these trees are to become pens, if the waters of the oceans are to become ink, Add another seven oceans and then say to insan, say to jinnat, say to the malaika, say to ambiya, use the pens that have become, use the trees that have become pens, use the waters of the ocean that have become ink and start writing now. What must you write? Write the tarif of Allah, the greatness of Allah, the kalimat of Allah, the sifat of Allah, the attributes of Allah. This human being in his life, normal human being, uses only 4 to 5 percent of his brain. 95 percent is sleeping. Einstein, when they exhumed his brain, they found he had used 11.2 percent. The rest of his brain also was sleeping. In Jannat, in Jannat, Allah will open the mental capacity of every human being 100 percent. So that he can experience the pleasures of Jannat to its maximum. But in this world, 4 to 5 percent only he uses. 
and such a brain. Sometimes Kurbani time, Eid al Adha time, you must look at the sheep brain. Sometimes they make curry out of it, we call it beja curry. Tell the little children, they don't want to look at it also. But it's very tasty. You've got uric acid, stay away from it. In any case, if you look at the brain of the sheep, and you look at a human brain, very similar. Yet such a brain, such a brain Allah has given this insan. It is said it's the nerve fibers. It's the nerve fibers of the brain of each human being are opened up. And a rope is made. It will go from this masjid in Blackburn to the moon. Around the moon and come back to this masjid in Blackburn. 580,000 kilometers long are the nerve fibers of the brain of each human being. 100 million cells linked to each other with such complexity, such complexity, wallah, that this human being can never ever understand this complexity. Such a brain, such a brain, how does this piece of flesh, how does memory come into it? How does compassion come into it? How does love come into it? How does an ocean of emotions come into it? How does the capacity for revenge come into it? How does the capacity for compassion and kindness enter into a piece of flesh? وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْسُوهَا Allah says if you have to enumerate, if you have to count, if you have to reflect, if you have to ponder over the favors of Allah, لَا تُحْسُوهَا You will never do justice. One one thing, one one power, وَفِي أَنفُسِكُمْ أَفَلَا تُبْسِرُونَ Look within yourself. This kidney, the size of a walnut. One million holes. One million holes, the size of a walnut. Those who don't know what's a walnut, two or three almonds put it together, that's the size of a walnut. An object that size has one million holes in it. And then there's a rope around it, a rope of blood vessels, how long? 72 kilometers long. 72 kilometer rope tied around the object the size of a walnut, in it is one million holes. Ask ourselves the question, which urologist really knows what's going on in their kidney? Obviously, the doctor is not going to admit that he doesn't know. Because how is he going to justify his bill? So he'll never admit it. One old man, 70 years of age, he went to the doctor, his urine stopped. Doctor put his instrument, whatever it is, the man got a little bit of relief. Doctor presented the bill, the old man started crying. So the doctor said, all right, I'll give you a discount. He said, I'm not crying because I can't afford to pay your bill. Why are you crying? He says, only today I realized that for 70 years of my life there was one zat and one being that was doing this work for me and he never charged me. Today insan is doing it for me, already he is charging. One doctor, I'm not here to run the doctors down, this is just an example, I've got no dushmani of doctors. But the other day, one tablik sati, one doctor, he told me a very, in fact the most intelligent thing I've ever heard any doctor say. He says, Molisa, we have the best profession. We have the best profession. I said, why? He says, because we charge the bill and Allah gives the shifa. Allah gives the shifa. We t- one person, two patients, exactly same illness, one get same medication, one dies, one lives. Who is doing? Allah. Allah is the one that decides. Allah is the one that is controlling. It's walnut, one million strainers, one million holes, a rope 72 kilometers. Which doctor can possibly know what is going on? Nevertheless, if Allah Ta'ala has to open the brains of any every insan 100%, give each one the lifespan of Nuh alayhi salam, make the trees into pens, the waters of the oceans into ink, multiply it another seven times, and then the rest of Allah's creation, the rest of Allah's creation, Wallah, what does Quran tell us? Sabbaha lillahi ma fis samawati wa ma fil ard wa huwa al-azizul hakim wa in min shayin illa yusabbihu bihamdi wa la kila tafkahuna tasbihahum tusabbihu lahu samawati sab'a wal ard wa man fihin everything in the heavens, everything in the earth Every shay, every entity that exists is making tasbih of Allah. He's already praising Allah. Subbuhun, Quddusun, La ilaha illallah, Malikul Haqqul Mubeed. Everything is in tasbih. Allah, if Allah had to make us all hear the tasbih, 
If all these other creations, every leaf of every tree is making tasbih, has to advise this insan what you must write. Write the tarif of Allah, write the kalimat of Allah, one one creation of Allah, the mind cannot imagine. That is one fish, they call it an eel. You find this fish in Africa, sometimes in America, sometimes in Arabia. Allah has made this fish such that at the end of its life, when the time comes for it to lay its eggs, whether it's in Africa, whether it's in Arabia, whether it is, wherever it is, this fish starts a journey. It goes to Bermuda. One place only in the world it goes to, this particular fish. It goes to Bermuda. Where is it traveling? It's traveling in the depths of the ocean, total pitch darkness. There's no GPS, no navigation, no satellite. Naturally, this fish, 8,000, 5,000, 9,000 kilometers, will travel directly to Bermuda. Each of these fish, these eels, lay 30,000 eggs. After they lay the eggs, they die. When the eggs are hatched, those children that are born, their risk and their sustenance is in the ocean of its mother. Where its mother came from, Allah has kept its risk. So after those eggs are hatched, those children, they start a journey to go back to the ocean of its mother. Never spoke to the mother. Never met the mother. The mother is already dead. Yet, Allah inspires that creation, that fish. It starts a journey. Marine biologists have studied this for years. They have never found that an eel whose mother lived its life in Africa went to Arabia or went anywhere else. That baby goes exactly back to the ocean where his mother was born. Spends his entire life and he comes back to Bermuda to lay eggs. One creation of Allah like this. How many multitudes of creation? There are 10,000 different species of spiders. There is one spider. Half, it lives in the water. Half the web is under the water. Half the web is above the water. The half of the web that is under the water is waterproof. And the web that is above the water catches the oxygen that is needed for the web that is underneath the water and transfers the oxygen underneath the water. One one creation of Allah. Wa in ta'uddu ni'mat Allahi la tuhsuha. We will never be able to comprehend the greatness of Allah. Imagine Allah says, if the trees are to become pens, the waters of the oceans are to be coming, multiply it another seven times. Say to Insan, say to Jinnat, say to the Malaika, say to Jibrail, Mikail, Israfil, Israel, say to Ambiya Ali Musalam, Yusuf Ali Salam, Isa Ali Salam, Ibrahim Ali Salam, Yaqub Ali Salam, Idris Ali Salam, Harun Ali Salam, say to the galaxy of Ambiya, say to Imam Al Ambiya, Muhammad Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, use the trees that have become pens, use the waters of the oceans that are becoming right now. What must you write? Write the kalimat of Allah, write the kibriya of Allah, write the jalal of Allah, write the azmat of Allah. Lana fid al bahru, qabla an tanfad kalimatu Rabbi, walau jina bi mitlihi madada. The trees will come to an end, the pens will come to an end, insan will perish, jinnat will perish, ambiya will perish, malaika will perish. Allah's kalimat, Allah's greatness, Allah's kibriya, Allah's jalal will never ever come to an end. Akbar min kulli kabir, aqwa min kulli qawi, az min kulli aziz. Adam min kulli azim, ajal min kulli jaleel, greater than anything with greatness, more majestic than anything with majesty, more glorious than anything with glory, more powerful than anything with power, more mighty than anything with might. Ahad, laysa kamithlihi shay, there is nothing that is like Allah. Earth is small, Allah is big. Ye bacho wali yaqeen, this is the yaqeen of a little child. What does justice to this? Ulama say that if this entire makhluk has to imagine Allah greatness to the maximum potential of the ability beyond their beyond their mental ability combined if they are to imagine Allah's greatness Allah is even greater than that also Allah is even greater than that also where is the test for this where is the mazhara for this how much has this entered the heart stand on the musalla and say Allahu Akbar Stand on the Musalla and say Allahu Akbar. فَمَنْ قَامَ لِلْتَكْبِيرِ لَاقَتُ رَحْمَةٌ فَمَنْ قَامَ لِلْتَكْبِيرِ لَاقَتُ رَحْمَةٌ وَكَانَ كَعَبَدٍ بَابُ مَوْلَاهُ يَقْرَعُ وَصَارَ لِلَبِّ الْعَرْشِ حِينَ الصَّلَاتِهِ نَجِيَّا فَيَعْتُوبَاهُ لَوْ كَانَ يَخْشَعُ Like the poet says, when you stand on the Musalla and say Allahu Akbar, you are covered with the mercy of Allah. 
You are enshrouded with the mercy of Allah. Wa kana ka abadin. Babu Mawlahu yakrau. Your example is like that person who is making tap, 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 knocking, knocking where? At the door of the bank manager? At the door of the neighbor? At the door of that insan who, need, who is more in need than you are? No! Where are you knocking? You are knocking at the door of Allah's arsh. كان كعبد باب مولاه يقرأ فيا توباه لو كان يخشاه he says مبارك to you if only you had خشوع in that salah if only you had خشوع in that salah like the poet says to صلي بلا قلب صلاة بمثلها يصير الفتى مستوجبا للعقوبة تخاطبه إياك نعبد مقبلا على غيره فيها لغير ضرورة فلو رد من ناجاك للغير طرفه تمن يست من غيظ عليه وغيرة أما ألا تستحي ألا تستحي من مالك الملك وأن يرى صدودك عنه يا قليل المروة صلاة أقيمت يعلم الله Ulama give what may be considered to be an amusing example, but it explains the salah of the ummah today. They say there was one person, his friend was sick. This man was deaf. He went to visit his sick friend. The sick friend, sick people, they get upset, they get irritated. A lot of visitors. Now he looks to the people, my deaf friend came. Deaf friend came. So obviously he's not going to hear anything. Now I must entertain him. I'm tired, I'm sick, I want rest. The deaf friend, in his jazba to meet his friend, he postulates the conversation, decides beforehand. First question I'll ask, how are you? He'll say, I'm feeling well. I'll say, Alhamdulillah. The next question I'll ask him, who's your doctor? He'll give some name. I can't hear. I'll say, very good doctor. What medicine? He'll mention some medicine. I'll say, Allah give you shifa, very good medicine. So he enters the door. Friend is irritated. How are you in his irritation? This man can't hear me anyway. He says, I'm dying. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Very good. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that. This man gets more upset. Instead of dua, I'm getting bad dua from this person. What next question he asks him, who is the doctor? He says, Malakul Maut. Very, very good doctor. <laughs> he gets even more upset. By what medicine you taking? Now he's so irritated, he says, I'm taking poison. Carry on with that medicine. Very good medicine. <laughs> so what was, what was something supposed, supposed to be pos- positive? Something that is supposed to be positive is what now negative? Salat and uqimat ya'lamullahu annaha. He says the type of salah you are making today, Allah knows, ta'atun kal khatiyati, instead of being the obedience of Allah, is the disobedience of Allah. To salli bila qalbin, salat and uqimat ya'lamullahu annaha, bifi'liha hada ta'atun kal khatiyati. He says you make a salah, your heart is somewhere else. You are saying Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Every boundary, every obstacle, every distance between you and Allah is removed You are standing in Allah's court When you are saying Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Allah is responding directly to you What is the Salah? This month of Rajab just passed Synonymous with what? With Mi'raj al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where did Allah take his beloved? Subhanallahi Asra bi abdihi laylan min al masjid al haram ila al masjid al aqsa. Time was stopped. Time was stopped from masjid al haram to masjid al aqsa through the seven heavens. Such a vast space. Such a vast space. 1981 edition of a magazine that NASA, there was an article by NASA, this magazine is actually published by a church organization, but in it there was an article by NASA, the name of this magazine, Plain Truth, in the January 1981 edition, there was an article there, that a report by NASA that this universe, this universe is so vast, so vast, we are only able to see 3%, 3% of it. Because there is only light in 3%. The other 97% is what we call the black hole. We don't even know what is going on there. The density of the matter of the black hole is such that one tablespoon of that matter is more than the other 3% that is visible. In this 3% that is visible, there are so many stars. So many stars. So many stars. Just this galaxy. We are living in one galaxy, what they call the Milky Way. Galaxy is not just the solar system. The sun or nine planets or 31 moons or 30,000 asteroids, thousands of comets and meteors. This is just a solar system. Bigger than that is the galaxy, what we call the Milky Way. The sun is only one star in this galaxy. 
The side diameter of the sun, 1,392,000 kilometers. There are some stars in this galaxy, the diameter is 400 million kilometers. There is one star, the diameter is 1.4 billion kilometers. In this galaxy, they estimate there are 200 billion stars. 200 billion stars in just this one galaxy. This space, just this galaxy, is so vast. So vast, so vast. It is said if you travel at the speed of light, light travels at 186,282 miles per second. 300,000 kilometers in a second. In a year, light covers a distance of 9.5 trillion kilometers. It is said just this galaxy is 150,000 light years. This galaxy. And they estimate there are 170 billion other such galaxies. In just 3% of this universe, in which there are so many stars, that they say if you take one second, one second to name each star, it will take 300 trillion years just to name the stars. This is just Samaud Dunya, where there are stars is beneath the first heaven. وَلَقَدْ زَيَّنَّ السَّمَاءَ الدُّنْيَا بِمَسَابِيحَ وَحِفْظَى مُحَمَّدُ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ Without a space suit, without an astronaut outfit, is taken from Masjid Haram to Masjid Aqsa, to the first heaven. Above that, at the first heaven, meet Adam alayhi salam. Second heaven, Yahya alayhi alayhi salam. Third heaven, Yusuf alayhi salam. Fourth heaven, Idris alayhi salam. Fifth heaven, Harun alayhi salam. Sixth heaven, Musa alayhi salam. Seventh heaven, Ibrahim alayhi salam. Then above that, the sea. Above that, the arsh of Allah. Right up till the Sidratul Muntaha. The final point, beyond which no creation of Allah had ever ventured. At that point, Jibreel says, Ya Rasulullah, if I go one hair's breadth further, I will be burned to ashes. There is only permission for you to go beyond. This. He goes beyond the Sidratul Muntaha. Beyond the Sidratul Muntaha. Qazi Ayaz Rahimahullah in his Shifa, he mentions the riwayat that Rasulullah Sallallahu said, Faraqani Jibreel. Faraqani Jibreel. Jibreel left me. I was totally alone. He had reached that point no creation of Allah had ever reached. One Qata'atil Aswat. There was total, complete silence. Naturally, he became afraid. All of a sudden, Fasami'atu Kalama Rabbi. فَسَمِعْتُ كَلَامَ رَبِّي I heard the kalam of my Allah. لِيَهْدَى رَوْكْ يَا حَبِيبِي أُدْنُ 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 Do not be afraid, O oh my beloved. Do not be afraid, O oh my beloved. كَمَالِ قُرْ That maqam, that status, that call to Allah. Conversation takes place. Crux, one part of it. يَا رَبِّي اتَّخَذْتَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ خَلِيلًا وَعَطَيْتَهُ مُلْكًا عَظِيمًا وَكَلَّمْتَ مُوسَى تَكْلِيمًا وَعَطَيْتَ دَاوُودَ مُلْكًا عَظِيمًا وَعَلَنْتَ لَهُ الْحَدِيدِ وَعَطَيْتَ سُلَيْمَانَ مُلْكًا لَا يَنْبَغِي لِأَحَدٍ مِّنْ بَعْدِهِ وَسَخْرَتَ لَهُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ وَالْرِيَاحَ وَالشَّيَاطِينَ وَأَحْيَيْتَ لِعِيسَى الْمَوْتَى فَمَاذَا جَعَلْتَ لِي He says oh my Allah you soften lead for Dawood alayhi salam. You spoke directly to Musa alayhi salam. You gave Sulaiman alayhi salam a kingdom the like of which no one will ever receive. You subjugated the jinnat shayateen, the winds, for Sulaiman alayhi salam. You brought the death to life for Isa alayhi salam. Famaza ja'alta li, O my Allah, what have you kept for me? Allah responds, Awa laysa qad a'taytuka afzala min dhalika kullihi. The crux of that response, Adam Safiullah alayhi salam, Musa Kalimullah alayhi salam, Isa Ruhullah alayhi salam. Amma anta fahabibullah. Have I not given you better than all this? Have I not given you better than all this? You are the beloved of Allah. You are the beloved of Allah. Wallah dukir maktubun. Allah says to him, it is written down, Muhammadun Habibur Rahman. Muhammad is the beloved of Rahman. Wallah dhukir, illa dhukir tamai. And from now till Qiyamah, my name will not be taken, except that your name will be taken with my name. La ilaha illallah, Muhammadun Rasulullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, never to be separated. Yunada bihi, fi jawi sama. This name, Allah's name with the name of His beloved will resound in the atmosphere. Abdullah bin Abbas radiallahu anhumah makes tafsir 
of this Allah Zukir illa Zukir Tamai, the name of Allah with the name of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, never to be separated. Fil Adan, Wal Iqama, Wal Tashahud, Wa Yom Al Jumuati Al Al Manabir, Wa Yom Al Fitr, Wa Yom Al Adha, Wa Ind Al Jimar, Wa Bein Al Safa Wa Al Marwa. وفي خطبة النكاح وفي مشارق الأرض ومغاربها the name of Allah with the name of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم never to be separated not in azan not in iqamat not in tashahud in salah not on the day of Jumu'ah on the members of the entire world not in the khutbah of nikah not in Mina not in Arafat not between Safa and Marwa and not in the east or the west from the name of Allah ever be separated from the name of Muhammad Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم such a nabi was given to this ummah what did he come? What was given in Mi'raj? What was given in Mi'raj? Such a salah! Such a salah! Such a salah was given to this ummah. The Daniel alayhi salam, Qadada mentions the riwayat, Zukira lana anna Daniel alayhi salam, Naata ummata Muhammad. Daniel alayhi salam praised the ummah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and said they were given such a salah, such a salah, such a salah. Lo sallaha qawmu nuhin ma ghuriku. Walo sallaha qawmu adin o qawmu thamud ma akhadathum al-sayha wa ma ursilat alayhim al-reeh al-aqeem. If the same salah was given to the ummah of Nuh alayhi salam that ummah would never have drowned. If Qawmi Aad or Qawmi Thamud was given the Salah that the Ummah of Muhammad was given, the Azaab of Allah that befell those nations would never have befallen them. Such a Salah this Ummah was given. Yet what is the reality of the Salah today? Rasulullah said, Yati ala nasi zamanun, yusalluna wala yusalloon. A time will come upon my Ummah. They will be making Salah, but what they will be making will not be Salah. He said, Yushiku, and Tadhula al Masjid al Jamia, Fala Yara Rajul and Khashia. He said, You will a time will come, you will enter Jamia Masjid. Thousands of Musallis. And not one person will have Kushu in his salah. Not one person will have Kushu in his salah. The salah like a black rag will be flung back at the face of the Musalli. Allah protect us. Why Allah's Azmat? Allah's Azmat is not there. We are putting our heads on the ground in sajda and we don't know who is Allah. This heart is beating with the love of everything else but Allah. Why that effort to bring Allah's Azmat, Allah's greatness, Allah's kibriya in this heart is not there. This yaqeen has to be learned. This iman has to be learned, my respected brothers. They cannot be learned in our shops. It cannot be learned in our businesses. It cannot be learned in our comfortable environment. Wallah, wallah, wallah. We have to learn it in the same medan and feel that Muhammad sallallahu taught Sahaba Iman. Ta'allamna al-Iman. Thumma ta'allamna al-Quran. They said we learned Iman, then we learned the Quran. Everything Allah's Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa placed on the mantle of qurbani and sacrifice for the sake of this woman. Everything was given to connect and link one one person with Allah, to show one one person the road to Akhirat. Such was the dard, such was the pain, such was the concern, such was the worry for humanity in the heart of Rasul, in the heart of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And this was transmitted into Sahaba. In Ahad, pandemonium had broken out. This false rumor had been spread that Nauzubillah, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has been made shaheed. One thousand of the kuffar of Makkah decided now this is the opportunity now to finish off Muhammad Few, few sahaba remained. Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala, Umar radiallahu anhu, Ali radiallahu anhu, Abad bin Bishr radiallahu anhu, Ka'ab bin Ajura radiallahu anhu, Abu Dujana radiallahu anhu, Bara bin Malik radiallahu anhu, Sa'ad bin Abi Waqqas radiallahu ta'ala, Abdurrahman bin Awf radiallahu ta'ala, Talha radiallahu anhu, Zubayr radiallahu ta'ala, Qadada bin Nu'man radiallahu ta'ala anhu. One or two women, Umm Mani, Umm Ammara radiallahu anhuma, her sons Habib and Zayd radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, just 16 or 17 sahaba remain. They formed a human shield around Rasulullah They became a living embodiment when the family of Rasulullah were boycotted in Shia Abi Talib in the valley of Abu Talib. The food had been cut off, the water had been cut off. Three years, three years of boycott. And what was the condition? 
of emancipation will give you back your home, restore your business, restore your wealth, one condition, hand over Muhammad At that time Abu Talib recited what we call qasida al 90 couplets. Just two or three couplets of what he said. كَذَّبْتُمْ وَبَيْتِ اللَّهِ نُبْزَى مُحَمَّدًا وَلَمَّا نُطَاعِنُ دُونَهُ وَنُنَاظِلِي وَنُسْلِمُهُ حَتَّى نُصَّرَّى حَوْلَهُ وَنُذْهَلَ عَنْ أَبْنَائِنَا وَالْحَلَائِلِي وَأَبْيَضَ يُسْتَسْقَى الْغَمَامُ بِوَجْهِ ثُمَالُ الْيَتَامَ عِسْمَةٌ لِلْأَرَامِلِي What was the crux of what he said, the 90 couplets that you want to harm Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. First you will have to climb over a mountain of our corpses before you can touch one hair on the body of Muhammad such was the love Abu Talib had for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa The reality of that was not shown then. It was shown in Ahad. When the 17 formed the human shield around Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa bin Nauman used his own face to protect the body of Rasulullah sallallahu One arrow pierces into his eye socket. His eyeball comes out. Pulp. He turns around. He looks at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa with tears in his eyes. Allahu Akbar, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam takes the pulp, the remains of the disgorged eyeball of Qatada bin Nu'man in his hand, looks at the heavens and says, Ya Allah, the eye of Qatada was destroyed like this in the defense of your Nabi. Allahumma ja'alha ahsan aynay, takes it, puts it back in the socket and says, oh Allah, make this the better of the two eyes. Qadada bin Nauman's son used to say, Ana bin al-ladhi salat ala al-khaddi aynuhu faruddat bikaffi al-mustafa ahsan al-raddi faadat kama kanat li awwali marratin faya husna ma ayni wa ya husna ma kaffi He used to say, I am the son of the one whose eyeball rolled down his cheeks. It was returned back to its socket by the hand of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It became better than the first eye. It became better than the other eye. What a beautiful eye and what a beautiful hand that placed that eye. Arrows raining down. They used their physical bodies to protect Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Time is limited. We're not going into the details. Utba bin Abi Waqqas noticing that the arrows are not going to benefit. What does he do? Mal'oon. He picks up a rock. Picks up a rock. Flings it over. Flings it over the human wall in front of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That huge boulder comes crashing down onto the face of Rasulullah sallallahu Which face? Which face? Allah wa say amongst the myriad, amongst the myriad miracles, mu'ajizat of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, one miracle was his Mubarak face also. That anyone who would look at that face would sit with true talab for iman in his heart, would automatically, just by looking at his face, become convinced that this is the Nabi of Allah. In the morning of his birth, there was one Jew, Allah Masyuti mentions his revise in his Qasai Kubra. There was one Jew running around like a madman in the gullies of Makkah. Was a male child born last night? People said, yes. Is his father alive? They said, yes, he said, I'm not talking about that child. Was there a child born last night whose father is not alive? They said, yes, the grandson of Abdul Muttalib was born last night. He says, take me to him. When he comes in front, just a few hours old. When he comes in front of the newborn baby, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Just looks at his face. And what does this Jew say? وَيْلٌ لِبَنِي إِسْرَائِيلٌ لَقَدْ خَرَجَتِ النُّبُوَةُ مِنْهَا وَرُحْتُمْ بِهَا يَا مَعْشَرَ قُرَيْشٌ وَاللَّهِ لَيَسْتُوَنَّ بِكُمْ سَطْوَةً يَظْهَرُ أَمْرُهَا فِي الشَّرْقِ وَالْغَرْبِ Halaka destruction to the Bani Israel. Nubuwat has left you forever. Mubarak to you, Quraysh. Nubuwat has come upon you. Wallah, there is such a shan to this child that the noor of this child will light up the entire world. Just by looking at his face, Abu Huraira says, Ma ra'aytu shay'an, 
احسن من رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم كان الشمس تجري في وجهه he says i have never seen anything more beautiful than the face of nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم it was as if the sun would shine from his face wa idha dhahika yatalalau fi aljudur he says when my nabi would smile the nur of his smile could be seen on the wall in front of him hin bin abi wahala used to say yatalalau wajhuhu talalu alqamri laylat albadr he used to say that the face of rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم would glow like the 14th full moon jabir bin samura radiyallahu anhu says kuntu fi laylati adhiyan it was a 14th full moon night rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم was lying with his head in my lap in the courtyard of masjid an nabawi i looked at the moon i looked at his face i looked at the moon i looked at his face by the qasam of my allah the nur and effulgence and beauty of his face was more than the moon jabir bin jabir bin abdullah radiyallahu anhu says that once rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم massa khaddahu bi wajhi bi yadihi fa wajadtu li wajhi burdan wa rihan he says nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam once touched my cheeks i could feel the coolness and the beautiful fragrance from the hand of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam kanna ha kanna ma akhrajahu min junati attar as if he had just taken it out from a bottle of ether anas radiyallahu anhu says ma shamamtu mim miskan wala ambaran wala shay'an ahsana min rihi rasulillah sallallahu alaihi wasallam anas radiyallahu anhu says i have never smelled any musk or any amber or any perfume more beautiful then the natural fragrance that would come from rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam this nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam would make qailullah in home of umm sulaim the mother of anas radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu what does she do while he is sleeping she puts a container underneath the bed in which he is sleeping to collect the drops of perspiration nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam wakes up umm sulaim what are you doing she says ya rasulullah i mix this perspiration with my perfume so that it becomes the best perfume in medina sahaba say when he would pass his hand over the head of a child that child could be distinct wish from the other children for the rest of the day because of the beautiful fragrance that was coming from that child ali radiyallahu ta'ala used to say man ra'ahu badihatan habahu wa man khalatahu ma'rifatan ahabbahu yaqulu na'ituhu lam ara qablahu wa la ba'dahu mithlahu if someone came upon him all of a sudden they would be overawed when they interacted with him automatically they would love him and they would say before this and after this i have never seen anything more beautiful than muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Aisha radiyallahu anha it is dusk it is dark Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam is sitting with her she is cleaning some vegetables the sultan is looking down it is humid beads of perspiration have formed on the brow on the forehead of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam all of a sudden Aisha stops what she is doing Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam is looking down when he realizes Aisha has stopped cleaning vegetables he looks up he sees Aisha is staring radiyallahu anha mesmerized transfixed at his face Aisha what has happened Ya Khumaira what has happened she says today i understood the expression of abul kabira huzali a poet of the past when he said wa idha nazartu ila asirati wajhi bariqat kabarq al arid al mutahallili abul kabira huzali describes a pitch black night all of a sudden there is an electric storm beautiful streaks of lightning shooting along the horizon this is how aisha says she understood the beads of perspiration that were flowing down the forehead of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam like bolts of lightning with its nuraniyat and with its light abdullah bin salam a jewish scholar jewish scholar he says i heard that person who claims to be the nabi of allah has come to medina munawwara he was to give his first khutbah irtajjan nas ilay all the people of medina the curiosity was peaked they all gathered to see to hear this khutbah for the first time he says i also decided to come as i came closer as i came closer falamma nadartu ila wajhihi falamma nadartu ila wajhihi he says when my gaze fell upon the face of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam tabayyantu mera dil ne yaqeen kar liya the conviction entered my heart anna wajhahu laysa bi wajhi kazzab this is not the face of a liar this is the face of a nabi of allah that face which allah takes qasam in the quran according to the tafsir if i be my fakhruddin razi rahimullah wad duha wad duha tere roshan chehre ki qasam by the qasam of your shining face wal layli idha saja by the qasam of your black zulfa today that same face a huge boulder a huge boulder comes crashing down on the face of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam his the pieces of metal enter his temple blood pouring down from his face that zulfa upon which quran takes qasam is full of dust is full of blood that face which quran takes qasam upon is full of blood he falls backwards side of his neck strikes a piece of rock falls into a piece into a hole in the ground falls down unconscious 
Sahaba are overtaken. Allah and Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam become shaheed. Allah and Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam become shaheed. They are overtaken. Words cannot describe their grief. Grief stricken. They turn towards him. They hover around him. He has fallen down unconscious. Little while later he gains consciousness. When he opens his eyes, Sahaba say to him, 70, 70 of the homes of Ansar have been made shaheed. 70 women made widows. Children made orphans. The beloved uncle of Rasulullah tells him his body emaciated, cut into pieces. The beloved of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, full of blood throughout his entire wujud. They turn to him with one voice, with one voice. Ya Rasulullah, Udu Allah alayhim. O Allah, invoke the curses of Allah upon them. In, o Nabi of Allah, invoke the curses of Allah upon them. Omar was no ordinary personality. Nabi Sallallahu said, Lokana Badi Nabiyun, Lakana Omar. If there to be a Nabi after me, it would have been Omar. What does Omar say? What does Omar say? He was a living embodiment of this expression. Ittaqu firasat al-mu'min. Fa'innahu yanduru bi nurillah. Fear the inner wisdom of a mu'min. Because he looks with the nur of Allah. Omar says such was the hurt. Such was the pain. Such was the persecution. Such was the suffering that had been inflicted on Sahaba. On Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That if at that occasion he raised his hand. La halakna min indi akhirina. Allah would have wiped the earth free. Allah would have destroyed humanity. Ya Rasulullah, make but dua. He looks at them. He looks at them with tears in his eyes. And what does he say to them? Ama inni lam ubar la'anan. He says, oh my sahaba, Allah has not sent me as one who will curse people. Allah has not sent me as one who will invoke his wrath upon humanity. Innama boys to da'i an wa rahmatan. Innama boys to da'i an wa rahmatan. Allah has sent me as a da'i. Allah has sent me as an inviter to humanity. And Allah has sent me as a mercy to humanity. Allah has sent me as a mercy to humanity. Allah has sent me as a mercy to my ummah. Allahumma hadi qawmi. Fa innahum la ya'lamun. Allah give hidayah to my people. Allah give hidayah to my people because they do not know. Wa ma arsalnaka illa rahmatan lil alameen. Allah says we have sent you as nothing but a mercy to you. Everything placed on the mantle of Qurbani and sacrifice for humanity. That day is coming. That day is coming, my respected brothers. Jahannam will be brought on the day of judgment. Laha sabun alfa zimam. Ma kulli zimamin. Sabun alfa malaki nyajurunaha. Jahannam is such a wabal, such a curse. Jahannam will have 70,000 reigns. Pulling each rain will be 70,000 malaika just to control Jahannam. Jahannam will be brought. It comes in the riwayat. When Jahannam comes, Tazfaru Zafra. Tazfaru Zafra. Jahannam will screech. Will screech. All of a sudden will revolt against the angels holding the rain. When Jahannam Issues a blood curdling screech and scream. Ma min nabiyin mursal. Wala malakim mukarrab. No nabi of Allah. No angel of Allah. Will hear the scream. Illa jatha ala rukbate. But will fall down on their knees and say, Ya Rabbi nafsi nafsi. Ya Rabbi nafsi nafsi. Ibrahim Khalilullah will say, Ya Rabbi nafsi nafsi. Isa Ruhullah will say, La saluka ummi Maryam. Allah, I'm not asking you to save my mother Maryam, save me from Jahannam. The entire humanity, Ya Rabbi nafsi nafsi. Allah, save me. Allah, save me. Allah, save me. On the Maidan of Ashar, there will only be one personality. One personality. One personality. Whose pukar, whose call will be unique. One person only. And what will he be saying? Ya Rabbi, Ummati, Ummati. Ya Rabbi, Ummati. Wallah, my Ummat. Wallah, my Ummat. Which Ummat? The same Ummat. He knew it was presented to him. Whose businesses were steeped in riba. Whose youngsters were jiving to music. Whose young young girls, despite being dressed, paraded naked in public. Who destroyed his sunnah. Who turned his back upon his ummah. The same ummah. The same ummah. He will be saying, Ya Rabbi, ummati, ummati. 
For that same Ummad, he tied stones to his turk. For that same Ummad, three, three months would pass, the fire would not be lit in his house. Where is this dar today? Where is this cry today? Where is this high for humanity? Tabligh, my respected brothers, this work of Dawud and Tabligh, bayans are there, advices are there. But more than this, more than this, what is Dawud and Tabligh? Dawud and Tabligh is the dar and the cry of the heart. The cry that Sahaba say, Ghazirun ka Ghazir il Mirjal, the sound of a boiling kettle would come from the heart of Rasulullah. He's high, he's high, like how a mother sees her little baby dying and there's nothing that she can do. How she will cry, how a father will cry whose whole family is burning in front of him in a house and there is nothing that he can do. Like someone who has lost everything, how you will cry. Wallah, more than that, more than that, was the dard and the cry of Muhammad. His high, his cry, caused the malaika to cry. His cry caused the arsh of Allah to cry. His cry caused Jibreel to cry. Allah would send malaika down. Allah would send Jibreel down. Like how a mother tries to console her child. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Jibreel would be sent with ayat of the Quran. Fala tazhab. Nafsuka alayhim hasarat. Maanta alayhim bi jabbar. Rasta alayhim bi wakil. Rasta alayhim bi musayt. La'allaka baqiyun nafsak. Allah yakunu mu'mini. Oh my Nabi, are you going to finish yourself? Are you going to destroy yourself because they will not accept? He would say, Allah, my ummah, my ummah, my ummah. Jibreel would come, Sanurdi kafi ummatik. Allah says, we will please you. We will please you with regards to your ummah. Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu used to say, La arda Muhammad, wa wahidun min ummatihi fin nar. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will never be happy as long as one ummah is in Jahannam. Where is this dar today? Where is this worry today? Where is this cry for humanity today? A janazah of a Jew is passing in Medina. Rasulullah is crying. Sahaba say, Ali said, Yahudi, and Ya Rasulullah, is it not a Jew? Is it not a Jew? He says, Ali said, Nafsun tafallatan minni. Is it not another ummati of mine? Is it not another ummati of mine that is going to Jahannam forever and ever? Who is to cry for them? My respected brothers, like Salah is an order of Allah, and like Zakat is an order of Allah, and like Hajj is an order of Allah, by the Qasam of my Allah, Dawat and Tabligh is an order of Allah. Just ne huzur e Pak Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, ke khatme nubuat par iman laya, the one who brought iman on the khatme nubuat of Janab Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, la nabi abadi, wala ummat abad ummati, no nabi to come after me, no other ummat to come after this ummat. Just ne huzur e Pak Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the one who brought iman on his khatme nubuat, Dawat and Tabligh has become his. Zimadari has become his responsibility. This is not from Raiwin and Nizamuddin. This is not from Allah Ilya Subhanahu Wa Taala Yusuf Rahmatullah Ali. This is direct from Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Each one of us has to become a mercy to humanity, like Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was a mercy to humanity. That dar, that pain, that concern. To learn that, to learn that, our elders are saying the first step is that we have to go four four months in the path of Allah. Very very quickly, time is limited. Very quickly, don't wait for others. Don't wait for others. The standing up is not a contract, it's not a promise, it is dua. We are standing up, Ya Allah, you accept me. Ya Allah, you accept me for the worry of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Stand up and give our name, who's ready, inshallah, to go four, four months in the path of Allah. Chalo bhai, jaldi jaldi kar bhai. Jaldi jaldi bhai, please stand up. Who's there, mashallah, four, four months, there's holidays, youngsters, every youngster must go in the path of Allah. Everybody who is ready in Shaban, in Ramzan, after Ramzan, please stand up, please stand up. Please give your names, please stand up, everybody who is ready, please. Please stand up, please. Whoever is ready now, who is ready in Shaban, who is ready in Ramzan, who is ready after Ramzan, please stand up. Please stand up. Summer holidays, inshallah, after Ramzan as well. Please stand up. All the youngsters, the elders from our masjid, for 40 days, 4 months, everybody who is ready, please stand up. Please stand up. This is not please. a time to sit, my respected please brother. Stand this up. is a time of please acceptance. Stand up. stand up and get ourselves accepted by Allah. On my right hand side, please. Through the, the door on my right hand side, please. All the brothers who are ready, please go on the door on my right hand side, please. My please, please. please. Mashallah. Please, please. Give them away, mashallah. mashallah. Give them away. Give them away. Allah accept them, mashallah. Say Ameen, my respected brother. May Allah accept them. Allah make it easy, please. On my right hand side, please. On the right hand side, please. Make your way on the right hand side please. All the brothers who are ready now in Shaban, in Ramadan, after Ramadan, till July inshallah. Please make your way on the right hand side please.
Jazakallah. Give them way, brothers. The rest of them will come forward, inshallah, please, brothers. Please make your way forward. Please fill the gaps in front of you, inshallah. Do all take place shortly. Please come forward, inshallah. Please wait. There's a lot more brothers, mashallah. A lot more brothers who made intention. Please stand up. Right, fill the gaps, fill the gaps, come closer by. The only please one standing please should be those who are going towards Tashkil. No one else should be standing. Please come closer, inshallah, please. Allah reward please. you, mashallah. Fill the gaps, mashallah, come closer. Fill the gaps in front of you, please. A lot of brothers are going, Allah accept them. Those that are sitting, why are we sitting? Our Bhai Badiya Sahib Rahmatullah, Allah for his cover with Noor, used to say, Go on the Musallah and fight with Allah. That, Ya Allah, why are you not accepting me? We have no other word, Bhai. We have been sent, the Summat has been selected and chosen by Allah. The reality of this we will see in Akhirat. This is an investment for our Akhirat. Move forward, brothers, please. Jazakallah, fill the gaps in me. Fill the gaps, mashallah. Those that is in the heart, stand up now. We can also join those other brothers. Please brothers, who have not spent four months, please stand the performance inshallah. Make your tartib inshallah. May Allah accept us all inshallah. It is very important that we make intention. It is not ikhlas my brother. The ikhlas, ain't ikhlas ye hai ke ukhara ho ke naam likwa hai. Shaitan ka ye chakkar hai ke bai ikhlas ko jayse baithe hai. Nahi, ulma farma the ikhlas, ain't ikhlas ye ke khade ho ke naam likwa. Haa, to farma hai bishati inshallah. Give your name inshallah. Stand up brothers, who ready inshallah, now in Shaban, in... Ramadan, in after Ramadan, please brothers, give your name, inshallah. You want more brothers, mashallah. Ramadan is coming, my respected brother. So, this is the season for this ummah. Give your intention, inshallah, brothers. Allah gave this ummah brother in Ramadan. Allah gave this ummah Fateh Makkah in Ramadan. Sahaba did not sit back in this month. Sahaba took decisions of hidayah from Allah in this month. Who's ready, mashallah? Please, brothers, give your intention. How many will be sitting at home in Ramadan? Allah Hu Akbar. This is the month of harkat, the month of barakat, the month of Allah's forgiveness. Who is ready, mashallah? Make me advice. A lot of youngsters, we're getting holidays now. Many of us are still sitting here. Make me at 40 days in the path of Allah in Ramadan, mashallah. Or in our holidays. Stand up, mashallah. Please, brother, give me touch, inshallah. You want more brothers to make me advice? Be sabka irada hai char mahine ka. कौन इरादा करता है चार महीने के लिए कि हम चार महीने अल्लाह के रास्ते में जाएंगे सब चार महीने के लिए तैयार है ना इंशाल्लाह हां हाथ उठा रहे तो खड़े हो जा भाई रीजनिंग एंड सोशल स्टैंड अप या यूल मुद्दसिर कुम खड़े हो जा हुज रेडी स्टैंड अप माशाल्लाह द स्टैंड हो जा भाई खड़े हो जा भाई भाई नाम नहीं लिखा रहे हो जा भाई फरिश्ते नाम लिखवाएंगे खड़े हो जा सब दर नहीं कोई बात नहीं है भाई चार महीने खड़े हो जा भाई जिसके दिल में बात आई चार महीने खड़े हो जा खड़े हो जा भाई फरिश्ते लिख रहे हैं भाई यहां कोई लिखने वाला है ही नहीं भाई यहां कोई लिखने वाला है सब नीचे चले गए भाई खड़े हो जाओ अल्लाह के फरिश्ते लिख रहे हैं भाई अल्लाह के फरिश्ते भाई सब खड़े हो जाओ भाई कबूलियत की घड़ी है हां कबूलियत की घड़ी है देखो साथ ही इतने कुर्बानी करके आए हां अल्लाह हो अल्लाह सबको कबूल फरमाया अल्लाह के खजाने में कोई कमी नहीं आई अगर अल्लाह ने हम सबको कबूल किया और हम सब चार महीने गए तो कोई अल्लाह के खजाने में कमी नहीं आई अल्लाह हम सबको कबूल फरमाए इसके लिए बड़े यूं फरमाते हैं कि हमने नियत तो की अल्लाह ने अल्लाह तो दिलों को देखते हैं और सब साथी बैठ जाओ इंशाला अभी एक काम को तक कर दिया हमने अल्लाह के रास्ते में खड़े हो के नियत की जो खड़ा हो गया वो चल पड़ा इंशाला Every Thursday, far and wide people come from Liverpool, Chester, Lancaster, Barnsley, Bury, from everywhere, from the Halka, every Thursday night they come. You know, after Salat is a quarter to eight, and after that, a similar program takes place. So we request all of you to come every Thursday night. Will everybody do this, inshallah? And also bring one new brother with you, inshallah. Every brother should bring one new brother. Is everybody making intention, inshallah? Similarly, Alhamdulillah, every masjid got amal. Every masjid got amal. Five amal. Most of the masjid got five amal. Talim takes place, mashwara takes place, mashallah, diagandik, tarteem takes place. So we should fit ourselves. Allah has given 24 hours. Every one of us got 24 hours. Every one of us got 24 hours. After 24 hours, just few hours for the sake of Allah. Will everybody make intention, inshallah? And the paramount thing is the lady's talim at home. Look, we want to go to Jannah. 
We want our families to go to Jannah. Our mothers, our sisters, our daughters, we want to. Everyone to go in Jannah. It's very important. Malkul Maud is going to come to us, it's going to come to our women folks. Kabar is going to come to us, Kabar is going to come to them also. So it's very important that we do Talim at home. Will everybody make intention for Talim, inshallah? May Allah accept it. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم لك الحمد كما أنت أهله فصل وسلم على سيدنا محمد كما أنت أهله وفعل بنا ما أنت أهله فإنك أهل التقوى وأهل المغفرة اللهم إنا لا ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم إنا ندعوك الله وندعوك الرحمن وندعوك البر الرحيم وندعوك بأسمائك الحسنى كلها ما علمنا منه وما لم نعلم أن تغفر لنا وترحمنا لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إلا كنا من الطالب ربنا ظلمنا ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين إن مغفرتك أوسع من ذنوبنا ورحمتك أرجع عندنا من أعمالنا يا غفار الذنوب يا ستار العيوب اغفر لنا ولجميع أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم ارحم أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم تجاوز سيئات أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم أصلح أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم أهدي أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم افتح باب الهداية اللهم أخرج الناس من الظلمات إلى النور وجنبهم الفواحش ما ظهر منها وما بطن يا رب العالمين اللهم جعلنا هداة مهددين اللهم اجعلنا هادين مهديين غير ضالين ولا مضلين يا رب العالمين اللهم انك تسمع كلامنا وترى مكاننا وتعلم سرنا وعلانيتنا ولا يخفى عليك شيء من امرنا نحن البائسين الفقراء المستغيثين المستجيرين الوجلين المشفقين المقرين المعترفين بذنوبنا نسألك مسألة المساكين ونتهل إليك ابتهال المذنب الذليل وندعوك دعاء الخائف الضرير دعاء من خضعت لك رقبته وذل لك جسمه ورغم لك أنفه وفاض لك عبرته اللهم لا تجعلنا بدعائك شقيا وكلنا رؤوفا رحيما يا خير المسؤولين ويا خير المعتين يا إلهنا يا إله العالمين اللهم إنا نسألك رضاك والجنة اللهم إنا نسألك الفردوس العلا وما قرب إليها من الأقوال والأعمال ونعوذ بك من صغرك وغضبك ونعوذ بك من عذاب جهنة وما قرب إليها من الأقوال والأعمال ربنا اصرف عنا عذاب جهنم إن عذابها كان غراما إنها ساعة مستقرة ومقاما اللهم اجعل نبينا لنا فرطا وحوضه لنا موردا اللهم احشرنا في زمرة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم واستعملنا على سنته واجعلنا من حزبه يا رب العالمين وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه سيدنا ومتعنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين جن کا وضو ہے وہ صفوں میں بیٹھ جائے انشاءاللہ ابھی آزان ہونے ہوئے جن کا وضو نہیں فارغ ہو گیا جائے